Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number three. You're on season two. And today we are getting into my Acorns recap. do Simber edition. do Simber. What the? What did I? What am I even talking about? do Simber edition. Yeah, hey, we're going to have a do Simber, a month called do Simber. You know, it comes right after November. do Simber. Anyways. Big news, by the way. The Acorns account broke $2,000 this month, this past month. And... That's a pretty big deal. It's been almost about a year since I broke about $1,000. So super stoked that I finally went into the next tier and made it to $2,000. My Acorns account this month increased about $111. Uh, actually about $112, $111.93. It went from basically $1,890.64 and two dollars and fifty seven cents however you minus all my deposits that i made this past month basically you get a total increase of nineteen dollars and sixty one cents plus that would be about a one percent increase on the overall account so i mean one percent twelve months twelve percent increase is still pretty good return i think I, anything over basically seven percent per year i'm pretty happy with on that account so let's go ahead and look at the actual phone here so this is the main page um, as you can see my account right now two thousand two two dollars and we will go to the past let's get to the let's get going get to the very bottom real quick and we'll run just do the quick run through on the actual account on december and the reason the reason why i actually share this kind of stuff is so that you can see that i'm not just lying about what i do with my account you guys can actually go through and add up all the uh, deposits that I made and be like, oh yeah, he's right. He made $19 and whatever, 61 cents or whatever it may be. So that's why I, I do that is so that I could be more transparent and not so much show you what kind of trades I'm making on Acorns, but just show that this is the consistency that I'm talking about on these kind of platforms. So anyways, starting off with uh, December 1st, I made a $20 investment and that one I actually talked about in the last video in November uh, recap. With a lot of roundups going on here. That's pretty much a majority of the stuff that gets posted to my account. Dividends, those are always nice to get paid. Those came from the corporate and government bonds. So thanks Uncle Sam and thanks Verizon probably. More roundups, a little referral right there. So whoever used my link and found it, I guess, thank you. I really appreciate it. There's only been, I think I've only had like five or six people use my actual link. So I guess it's one of those things that's hard to find and I don't really push it all that much. So anyways, thank you. I appreciate it. Trying to figure out a way to help other people use their referral links on my page so that other people can make money off of my channel or something like that. One time investment on December 13th. Roundups, 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 roundups. This is the story of my life with this account. A little $5 auto deposit that I have set up, reoccurring investment, and then a one time investment of $20. And then nice dividends towards the end of the month. On the 27th, look at that. That's like almost... That's a little three dollars right here. That's probably like actually six bucks, six seven bucks right there. Dividends just on a month, and then a little bit of roundups, and then actually finishing out the month, I got another looks like four dollars in dividends. So super stoked about those dividend payments. Those you know really help out the account and grow. Overall, I have forty dollars and thirty two cents in dividends. The referrals is twenty five dollars, and my total gain and loss is two two hundred and fifteen dollars. But let's go ahead and look at performance we don't want to look at the daily we just want to look at the monthly so this is the overall monthly as you could tell a little one dollar deposit right there boosted that another twenty dollar deposit here right there finishing off with another twenty dollar deposit or so overall this is the overall account as you can see i'm still getting steady growth percentage wise i'm doing 12.9 percent so i'm super happy with that over the one year i'm doing 11.59 so Pretty stoked. I'm basically averaging about 1% per month, which is I'm pretty happy with for that kind of account. So that that pretty much wraps up the uh, the account on Acorns. Let's go ahead and dive into the question of the day, which is are bells referred to as he or she? Well, I guess if they are southern bells, then you could refer to them as she's. But as far as bells go, I don't think that there is like male and female. I don't think that there is a, a um, gender specific bell to say the least. Today or tomorrow will be my, my, me and my, my, my wife and I's two year anniversary. And this will actually be for you guys yesterday. So on the second, 
is our, our two year anniversary. So we're going to be celebrating that tomorrow. That's why this video is getting recorded early so that it can come out and so on and so forth. And I don't have to actually work on the YouTube tomorrow. Go ahead and comment down below and, and wish my wife the most happiest anniversary that she's ever had. Let's go ahead and wrap it up there. If you guys have any questions regarding Stash, Acorns, Rob, and Hood, as well as general investing advice, business, Etsy, coaching, post those questions down below and I will get them on the next episode. So you think. Don't forget to subscribe up here and check out my Acorns recap November. November, not December edition. Check out this video right here. And as always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.